emails up here, eh? Well, my partners at Octobeam there, they sent me a mic to review they did. Freaking right they did. We got the Tri-Row Series 42 inch or LED bar we do. Freaking right we do. So let's get this baby opened up and we'll check her out. Why wouldn't we, right? Why the hell wouldn't we? Don't forget, uh, I put the link below where to buy this baby, I will. You know what I was thinking about these things too, boys and girls? Hey, farmers, hey? Farmers driving their tractors around the fields with all the gear on the back? Buy one of these things, put it on the back of your tractor? She's like daylight, boys and girls. Friggin' right it is. I see tractors all over the place around here because, you know, I'm in, I am in, you know, Hickville. Hey, why wouldn't I be? And there's all sorts of uh, farmers kicking around there is. So you boys need to buy one of these for your tractors you do. You can put these on the back of a trailer if you have a backup camera back of an RV. Hey, that way when you're into the old dark pineries or you know wherever you go camping, you wanna back up, you can see everything. Frig, man, there's so much you can do with these. You can put them on your side-by-sides. You can put them anywhere. There's all different sizes and stuff like that. So check them out, for sure. I'll put the old link down there, like I said. But let's get this baby open and check her out, boys and girls, eh? Why wouldn't we? So, comes in a box, of course. Hey, why wouldn't it? Hey, why wouldn't it come in a box, boys? Girls, peoples, hey, eh? hopefully you can see. Why wouldn't you? Oh, look in the box, eh? Decent. So first thing it comes with is a card to rate their service, eh? Review feedbacks, contacts if you have any technical questions and stuff like that. It's even got a little doodad for your phone that you can go boop, hey? Friggin' right you can. That's decent. Comes with the instruction guide, eh, on how to hook it all up. Do this and that and the other thing. Decent. It's in here, boys. Comes with all the, the gear, too, to mount her, eh? All the gear to mount her, boys and girls. Check it out, eh? So it comes with your two side brackets, made of nice hard aluminum, too, boys, so it won't rust. And there's the other side. Comes with the rubber that goes between the bracket and whatever you're attaching it to. Comes with the Allen keys and the screws. Freaking right. So this light here, it's it's uh, actually pretty pretty good price it is. Remember, there's a whole bunch of reviews of these lights online there is. But you gotta remember, boys and girls, when you're looking at reviews on these light bars, and stuff there's all different series eh so don't watch one video and think oh that light's not even close to that brightness you gotta look boys different series this like i said this is a tri row so it's got tons of leds it does friggin right i'm just looking real quick to see if i can do the led count eh but it doesn't uh doesn't tell me i don't see it anywhere where it says how many there is but there's lots eh so anyways we'll lift this out of the box and get rid of the box boys why wouldn't we there, we don't need that, eh? Some of them come with a wiring harness where you just hook it up to positive and negative, comes with a switch and everything, right? So I think it's a little bit extra money for that, but it, if you're not uh, a technical guy like me and you don't want to do wiring, buy the one that comes with the harness because it's plug and play, boys. Ground, negative, run the switch into the truck. It comes with the, the relay and everything right on it, eh? But I don't need that, so I'm just gonna open this bad boy up and we'll check her out. Oh, freaking right, we will. So now I can replace the one on the truck that's got the three burnout LEDs I do. Friggin' right I will. Why wouldn't I though, eh? Why the hell wouldn't I? Oh, boys. She's nice and heavy too, eh? This ain't light. This ain't a light one, boys. She's a heavy one. You know what else these work good for? If you have them on your truck and you're cruising around somewhere at night and you see a couple making out in a car or something like that, you can pull up behind them and just give them the light rooskies, eh? Watch out you don't get a ticket, though. Cops don't like these too much. They're really bright, so you just gotta be careful. But for sure you do. Because they are bright, boys. Just absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I have quite a few different lights on the old Close Encounters there, and the Ox Beam one seems to be about the best it does so far. So, so get buying them, boys. But look at that, boys. Look at the amount of LEDs in that light bar. It's got all the little ones all the way down and around. It's got the big ones in the middle. They're all the same size lights, but oh my God, boys. She's made of, it feels like aluminum, aluminum no, eh? Definitely aluminum. So that's really nice, really heavy, made good. All these screws aren't fake, they're all real screws too. I'm pretty sure this is pretty durable Lexan on the front of this, but if you ever do, Scratch it or break it, you can probably just remove it and put another piece in, eh? Freaking right you can. Anyways, boys, look at that light, eh? That is decent arc beam, eh? Don't forget, like I said, I'm gonna put that link in the in the bottom bar, eh? So go down there and click on that, make sure you- You buy them up. Like these work on just about anything with 12 volts, boys. Freaking right, you can buy smaller ones if you wanna put them on your quads, eh? ATVs or whatever you wanna call them. Not one on the front of a snowmobile, for God's sakes. Eh, why wouldn't you? So anyways, I'm going to fire this thing up, I am with my new uh, full voltage doodad. Hey, friggin' right.
brain toys. So we'll give her the old negative on the negative, boys. Ain't negative on the negative. And we'll give her the old positive on the positive, we will. All right, boys. Moment of truth, eh? Moment of truth. Like I said, this is just a quick review video of this light. I'm gonna mount it, but it's too cold out to mount it today. So we'll get it mounted and you can see what it really looks like. But, uh, oh, boys. Boys. That is just crazy bright, man. Look at that thing. Holy. That is freaking decent, boys. Here, I'll shut off all the lights so you can have a look see, eh? I'll shut off all the lights in the, sh in the old garage, if you will. Why we? Now, it is bright outside, so, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to determine, but, oh, boys, you can't get much brighter than that, man. That just blind you to death, boys. Look at the wall over there, boys. Look how bright the wall is. Like, there's a the sun, and look at, look at the sun down there on the battery. See it? Watch when I put a light on it, it gets even brighter. Darn near brighter than the sun it is. Holy. The old light test bench works good. Freaking great it does. Anyways, yeah, there you go. Ooh, I can see again, maybe. Maybe. Wow. But anyways, I'm telling you boys, that probably weighs, I would say, 30 to 40 pounds, boys. It's heavy, heavy it is. I like the way they did the fins for the cooling on the back. Hey, you see the way the fins are for the cooling? And of course that helps with wind noise too, I bet, eh? When the wind's blowing by her. Like the ones on my truck make a little bit of wind noise, but I got two side by side, so the wind's going through. Boys. This is decent. You need to get yourself one for sure. Big time. Big friggin' time. So anyways, if you're hooking this up and you do have an order of the one that uh, just comes with a wire, okay, like I have, make sure you run a relay on them, boys. You don't wanna run this direct to a switch because you'll melt the switch. So if you're not sure on that, make sure you purchase the one that comes with the uh, harness, like I said. And like I said, there's the links in the description. And I'll put, uh, I'll put the link for the description of this one, and I'll put the link to the prescription of the one with the harness too. Why wouldn't I, right? That way you know which ones are what. But this is a Ford, like I said, 42 inches wide. So if you have a big full size truck, you might want a 52. This one here is decent. You can put that on the front of your bumper. Like I said, the back of the trailer, you can put it on the tractors to see your gear you're pulling in the field. Put it on the front of your tractor. Put it on your snow blower if you're a redneck like me. Hey, freaking right, boys. But good old Susie there from Amazon Ox Bean Store, she sent me out this, she did. And uh, I wanted to tell her, much appreciated, eh? Freaking right, I'll replace the one with the three burnout LEDs on the old close encounters there. And uh, we'll bring that one in here and see what we can do with it too. Why wouldn't we? Why the hell wouldn't we? Don't forget to subscribe and like too, eh? If you like this video, subscribe. Actually, if you like this video, like. But if you subscribe, it'd be even better. How's that? Does that sound good? Freaking right it does. Oh, just going back to the brackets too, eh? If you wanna know, the brackets are simple, boys. You just go on like that, you put your screw in there. Now, it all depends on how wide your rig is. Like I said, you can put them this way, eh? If you don't wanna do that. But if I did mine this way, that way nobody could just take out that screw and rip them off, eh? Even though they can just take out that screw and rip them off. But if you go that way, there's less of a chance, eh? So just, I would mount them on the light where you're putting it and then just take a pick tool and just mark in there right and then drill your hole and uh pull them off put them on make sure you put in your rubber grommets boys i didn't really want to open this but i did anyways make sure you put in your rubber grommets boys hey okay? in between stops vibration stuff like that freaking right it does boy wouldn't it but uh yeah boys D E E S. so it comes with two nuts or a bolt and nut if you want to bolt it to something and it also comes with the two that go inside eh i use my own self tappers in mine so i didn't need the longer ones but they go in the sides like that the brackets go on and bob your uncle and i'm showing you this and you're probably thinking well no is that how it really goes really really why wouldn't it but it comes with all the allen keys okay for all the different size allen keys on here because the allen keys to take with all these little screws if you want to take them out hey boys not that one but maybe this one yeah that one right there there it is. So it comes with all the Allen keys for all the different Allen screws. Freaking right. So this is like, you don't need any tools hardly except for a drill maybe, hey? Okay? You need a drill. Just need to drill her in, boys. Why wouldn't you? But I'll tell you, that's, like I said, that's a tri row and that thing's got one hell of a lot of LEDs on it. Like I have one that doesn't have this many LEDs and there's, no, there's not even a comparison. This thing just blinds you to death. Oh, and just so you know, boys, there's 240 LEDs on this light bar. It's got 240 of them, it does. Friggin' right it does. 240 LEDs, that's just crazy. Wow, decent. 16,000 lumens, boys, in this light, and 6K combo beam, eh? 16,000 lumens. That's ridiculous. Friggin' right it is. I don't know how to determine that in candle watt power, but... It's bright. Actually, let's see if we can figure that out for you boys and girls. Why wouldn't I, hey? So there you go. 16,000 lumens equals 1,920,000 candle watt, boys. So this thing's almost 2 million candle watt power. Oh, 
Holy! So I don't know if any of you had one million candlewatt power, you know, spotlight. This is two of them, eh? Two of them in one bar. That's freaking decent, boys. So there's a calculation for you on that. Uh, I did my best. It's pretty close to two million candlewatt, boys. Pretty close. So that's insane. Brings a whole new meaning to the old word coon hunting, eh? Freaking right, it does. Why wouldn't it? Brings a whole new meaning of bear hunt, boys, eh? Freaking right, it does. Don't forget, eh? Oxbeam. They're the people that go see. And this thing just works amazing. That's what I, like I said, that's what I have on the old Close Encounters. And it's just, everybody I show that truck to are just like, that is absolutely over the top bright, boys. It's been a wonderful light, man. Like, that thing is awesome. Can't wait to put it on. I'm freaking ready. D E decent. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day and didn't do anything I didn't do except for review the old ox beam. So make sure you check out the links below and if you want to purchase them, tell them. Dirty old Bill said Sanchez, hey, why wouldn't you? But uh, anyways, have a good day and uh, you know what to do for now.